Good morning, everyone, or afternoon, or whatever you may be doing. Perhaps you are watching this in replay, and it is in the middle of the night, and you're trying to find something to fall asleep. I'm going to apologize in advance because somebody is going to wake up very shortly, and my dogs are going to go mental because they're going to think there's an intruder in the house. So. So you're aware I might get some crazy barking happening very soon. Um, it's 10 o'clock a.m. my time. So in my household, everyone else sleeps until, you know, noon. Whereas I get up at like 6.30. So anywho, what are we doing today? So today um, is the third Saturday of the month, which is usually when I do my live uh, shows. And um, always something different. Um, in those shows, but today I am going to be doing a live uh, Bujo. So I haven't yet done anything with my bullet journal this month. I've been very delayed. I've been doing a lot of reading. If you saw um, last weekend, I did a vlog for the mid-month book bash, and I basically read all weekend. So I've been kind of behind the, the ball here on my bullet journal, and this is new to me this year. If you if you haven't um, seen my channel before, I just started doing a bullet journal this year and I've really liked it, um, but I'm also like really slow at getting it up <laughs> on my channel. Uh, so I thought what a perfect way to do this um, in one fell swoop is to do it live um, and show you what I'm up to. So um, what I plan to do is do it in a pro productivity sprint style. So um, if you on the other end of this are reading or, you know, cleaning or doing a journaling yourself, maybe you're doing some writing, you can do that. And then we'll pause here and there and just have a little chit chat about what we have been up to. Um, so... Like I said, I'm going to be working on my bujo. I think I have a plan of what the theme is going to be this time around, but I'm not quite sure. I'm not that talented of a drawer, drawer, drawer. Hey, Christy. Um, but I'm going to do the best I can. I usually try to find really simple things to draw. And essentially, it's more or less just a place for me to log all of my stuff. So I'm not too concerned about that. <laughs> so I think what we'll do is we'll probably start um, at the 15 mark. So 10, 15, my time. Um, and then we'll go for like 15 minutes and we'll see how we like that. And then I think we'll ramp up to like 20 minutes. So depending on what you're doing at home, you'll have a little bit of time to get that done. Maybe you um, want to reorganize a drawer or something like that. Um, and then we'll come back and we'll find out what everyone has done. But um, for you that are out there on the interwebs, Christy, how are you this morning? It's quite early for you. Are you getting ready for the um, live show later today? Um, for those of you who don't know and who will see this today, um, there is a live show over at Victoria's channel, uh, A Musical Bookworm. She is doing um, a read along with some co-hosts of um, C.S. Lewis's Space Trilogy. Um, I know it as the Cosmic Trilogy. I think it's also referred to as the Ransom Trilogy. I think when you have a classic like that, they, the name changes quite often. Um, but we are going to be discussing the very first book today in that read along um, and the, in today's live show of uh, the silent um, out of the silent planet, which is going to be really exciting because I have not ever read a book like that, I guess. I'm not really a sci fi reader, so I was really excited um, that I liked it uh, and I'm excited to kind of move into the next two books. Um, but that is at um, 11 a.m. PST. So for me in central time, that's going to be at 1 p.m. So I'm going to make sure that I am done with this way before that. So that's why I made sure I was here in the morning as to not coincide with that uh, live discussion because I'm really excited uh, to do that. So Christy, you didn't sleep very well. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can prep for, for that during our, our productivity sprints. Absolutely. Um, so since it's a, it's a reading channel or a bookish channel, 
what have I been reading? Well, I got a few, someone's awake. Um, I got a few things read last weekend, which was really great. Um, and I'm still in the middle of a couple of the books that I was reading last weekend. So I'm still reading East of Eden, which is really good. Hey. So East of Eden is really great. Um, there is a villain in there that is amazing. Um, her name is Kathy and she's awful. So awesome to hate. She's so good. Anywho, um, and then I'm also reading Once Upon a River, which is pretty good as well. I'm still only like, I think I'm like 150 pages in. So it's still kind of building up to like the meat of the story but it's very good. Uh, I'm reading Little Paris Bookshop and like da, 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 Fried Green Tomatoes at Whistle Stop Cafe, which I'm really excited. I just started that the other night and it's really good because the chapters are um, super short. So you feel like you're accomplishing a lot and you're getting a lot of the story as well as the backstory. So it's really cool. Um, yeah. Christy, absolutely. Um, it's nice to have shorter sprints and then try to get a few things done. And I apologize for all of the noise. Um, those dogs, man. Um, East of Eden, I am reading that with um, Emily from Nobel Novels, Ange from Ange's Book Chatter. Her channel used to be Ange with an E, now it's Ange's Book chatter and then uh, Laura from book bubbler so um, last year Ange and Emily and I read um, North and South by Elizabeth Gaskell together so we wanted to read another book this year and it was funny because both of them were like oh you have East of Eden on your 21 books to read in 2021 and I was like yeah and you know knowing that I that Una is having something set up for the summer I was like we can read that. And then Laura ended up um, getting on there too. And I was like, you know what? This is good because I'm going to be prepped and ready to go when Una does his read along in the summer. So um, I'm excited. It's really good, really easy to read. So if you are thinking about joining that or um, are already set up to join it, super nice read. Like for a classic, I'm impressed on how easy to read it is. Um, and I like the narrator's voice because it's kind of like an omniscient narrator, um, unless we somehow find that it's someone we know. But it really it's it's like a third it's a third person, but omniscient. Um, at least that's my perception of it. I could be completely wrong, but that's how it feels like to me. Um, yeah. Yes. Awesome, Christy. I'm excited to hear what you think, because I think you will have a lot to say. You know, it is American literature, so a little bit outside of your um, love level, like you're very much into Russian literature. But the American literature in this time era is exceptional. So, um, yeah. Yeah. I Someone was just talking about, oh, I think it was... Um, Noah last night on his live was talking about a Virginia Woolf reading of Mrs. Dalloway. I about lost it. I'm so excited if that happens because that is one of my favorite books. Um, it is one of my like because because that book is the uh, precursor to um, Michael Cunningham writing The Hours, which is you know from Mrs. Dalloway. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! I'm so excited. So I really hope he does that. Um, yeah, Christy, the villain in there is crazy. She's, the narrator refers to her as a monster. So it's, yeah. And I doubt we've even gotten the tip of the iceberg of her craziness. Okay, so we're about five minutes more um, of some chit chat. Um, other perch. So I did, um, so for my book club, I have a personal book club and Christy, you know, you're in there as well, but um, we had read in February Chocolat and then we also read um, in March, The Color Purple. 
And I just watched those two films. And it was so intriguing how not like how those films were so different as far as adaptations go, because for Chocolat, not like the like it was like the book, but they changed so many very important features that it was like, did you want to make an adaptation or were you just trying to like take this story and make it your own? Whereas then in the color purple, it was like spot on, like actual lines taken from the the book and placed into the, the film. And so it was funny or interesting to me to see the difference between filmmakers and what they make of, you know, movies like that. It's just, yeah. Hi, Knitting and Books. You know, you are new to me. What is your, what is your first name? So that I don't call you knitting and books, <laughs> knitting books, etc. Christina, wonderful. I will remember that. I think um, I have just met you through maybe was it my vlog or my something, but I'm so excited. And I saw you last night on Noah's channel as well during the live. So I'm excited to have met you. So thank you, Christina. Yay. And I think I um, I'm subscribed to your channel now too. So. I'll be watching that. I'm so far behind on booktube and I've like stopped commenting on a lot of people's videos. So like, um, Christy, I think I watched one of yours last night where you're doing like, oh, maybe I did comment on that. But I'm just like, I'm watching people's videos and then I'm not even commenting because I have them in like a loop. So like I'll put a bunch of videos in and then I'll just watch them while I'm doing stuff and I just don't have time to stop and, and comment. So I am watching a lot of people's videos. <laughs> But I just, I, I am so into other things that I can't like pause, comment, and then, so believe me, I am watching videos. I just <laughs> have no time for the comments, which is terrible because we all love comments. So I need to be better at that. Well, Christina, what, um, what will you be doing during our productivity sprints today? I'm going to be working on my bullet journal, and it sounds like Christy is going to be prepping for um, the uh, live discussion this afternoon, or technically this morning for them to um, of the out of the silent planet. Hi, Pamela. Hi, Amy. Um, and I should be like adding these comments up, so I'm sorry that I I've not been doing that. I've been terrible because that's so far away. Like you guys, I have to reach you because you're kind of far away from me today. Um, has work been keeping me busy, Christy? Yes, um, it's been very busy um, and very. Whew. So for those of you who don't know, I work. Um, at like a staffing firm. So I am a recruiter and I recruit people to work um, in like temporary or evaluation to hire positions. Evaluation to hire meaning that the, the company is looking for like a long-term fit. And right now with the amount of government help that people are receiving, there's a lot of people not wanting to work right now because they kind of don't have to. They're getting paid more on unemployment or um, the stimulus package and stuff. So we're having a really hard time finding people who are wanting to work. So um, it's been difficult. So very busy because there are there are a lot of jobs available in my area. A lot of clients looking for work, like looking for candidates, and it's just it's been it's been hard. Um, we still put, put people to work, obviously, and we do still find people who are looking, um, but the mass majority are just waiting it out, which is their prerogative, you know, that's fine. So, yeah. Uh, okay, you'll be reading a little bit on War and Peace. Okay, so I have been seeing this. I think I saw on Summer's channel that she was reading War and Peace. And then I saw, I think Emily at Nobel Novels was reading War and Peace. And then I saw that you were talking about it. And then I think Christy, I think, yeah. And the video that I watched last night, you're reading War and Peace. And I remember Rainy at Rainy Day Reads was reading that like 
a year or so ago and she was like i read this book and i'm like and now that i see everyone reading it i'm just like oh my gosh that book i hear is first of all ginormous and second of all it isn't that tolstoy is that Tol i don't know regardless dense so good luck to all of you <laughs> Pamela, you're at work, so working on a May, June holidays observation guide to help students should they need. Oh, that's nice. But you're working on a Saturday? I suppose get it done when you can. Un yeah, unemployment. And they're having a hard time, you know, because people aren't getting their benefits and stuff. But, you know, there's been a lot of times where I'll call somebody and they'll just say, no, I'm getting unemployment. And you're like, but you could work, but you want to get unemployment. So it's like, OK, I'm not going to really have a conversation about that topic because it bothers me. So, <laughs> OK, yep. And you're reading with Christina. Wonderful. okay it isn't as dense as it is thick well that is good to know it's one of those books that's always been like in the back of my head like you know i probably should read that because i read a lot of classics and i'm just like it's not i'm just like no it looks like a better door stopper so i'll keep that in consideration maybe that has to come down the pike sometime what is it i can't think of war and peace without thinking of the peanut movie huh yeah Charlie Brown going to the library looking for Leo Toy. Oh, Toy Star by War and Peace. Oh, <laughs> I love peanuts. They're so good. Anyways, we are we are past the 15 mark. I was going to um, go to 15, but it seems like there's a little bit more people that have joined us. Um, so why don't we just take three more minutes for chatting, and we'll start at the 20 mark. We're going to do the first sprint we're going to do for 15 minutes. We'll see how that goes. We'll come back and chat a little bit, and then um, we'll do the next print more like a 20 minute mark um, and see how we like that. I do want to make sure that I keep this um, under three hours. I know that sounds silly, like Tan, you're not going to be here for three hours, but just saying because at um, 1 p.m. my time, which is central time, 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific time is uh, Victoria's live show for the Out of the Silent Planet. So I want to make sure that everyone has time to jump over there if they want to. And I certainly am. So I just want to make sure that we're doing that. So, Pam, you know, what not it, wasn't it yesterday or is it the whole month? It's like National Librarian Month or National Librarian Day or something. So thank you so much for all of your hard work as a librarian. I love my local library. I don't know what I would do without it. So thank you so much for all of your hard work, keeping people reading and keeping everyone up in, um, uh, in the times of what's coming out and what's new and what's worth reading. So thank you. Five hour shifts, not too bad. Yeah, I know. It should be good. It should be very, very good. So I'm excited. I'm excited. I um, listened to it in audio, which I'm, I was very happy about because there are a lot of words that had I been reading it, I would have been like, I wonder how you pronounce that. You know, just like Malachandra, the planet, and then um, the different um, uh, beings that he meets. And then he, I think he does a little bit of the language with them. And he's, he like sounds out some of the words. And it, it was really nice to be able to hear it. Um, I really liked that book. I really did. I was so actually very surprised about how much I liked that book. So, okay. So we're about here at the 20. I'm going to actually add, um, I have, if you can see this here, this is my um, tablet. I'm actually going to add so you guys can see what I'm doing. Um, so here is my uh, bullet journal, and that way, as I'm going through, you'll be able to see um, what I'm kind of doing here um, as best as I can. That's probably the only angle that I have <laughs> available for you guys to see. So I hope that is good enough, and you know, I can always hold it up and whatnot when I get through 
certain items, but I thought that that could be um, fun for you guys to see um, what I'm actually doing while I'm doing it, as opposed to just sitting here watching me just look down at my mirror. <laughs> so I thought that that would be um, nice um, addition. So as long as the tablet has power, um, it should be able to continue to um, record that. So um, yeah. Now we are at the 20 mark, so we're going to go for 15 minutes. Um, feel free to read, do your, do any chores that you need to do, organization, prepare for something, do your writing, anything you want. You can even just sit here and stare at me, do what I'm doing. I'm perfectly fine with that, but we're going to go for 15 minutes. I'm going to go ahead and put up a quick banner there, and um, then uh, we'll be all set. So we'll see you in 15.
Don't think about it.
Okay, how did everyone do? Uh -oh. Hey. I hope that that kind of, you can see a little bit. I got, looks like one, two, three, three pages penciled. So I have April on the first page. So. Typically what I do when I start my bullet journals is I do all the stenciling, the, um, what is this word? Pencil? Did I just say that? Pencil? Stencil pencil? Yeah, the stencils with the pencil. <laughs> the pencil with the stencil. Um, and I haven't yet figured out, like, the theme yet, so I'm just going to do what I know is coming down right now. And then um, I always have like a, I know this is hard to see, so I apologize because it's pencil, but I have my TBR page. So then I'll have all the books here and then I have my stats down here. And again, once I figure out the theme, I'll put in the pictures and then I have my bingo page. So it just says, I don't know if you can see that bingo and then the bingo square here. Um, and I'll keep going with the pencil stuff. And then what I think I'll do is I'm going to go through with the, um, I might go through and actually put in like the actual pictures and then I do with the black marker and then I color in and, and all that fun stuff. So what did everyone else get done in the first 15 uh, sprint? Wow, that cools down fast. Thanks, Christy. It's just pencil with stencil. <laughs> oh, you know, it was only six pages, Christina. No worries. Yeah, it was only 15 minutes. I, I probably would have read only five pages, so no worries there. Next sprint, we'll do 20 minutes, so we're going to add some time on there, so not a worry. Good morning, Laura. How are you? We just finished our first sprint, just 15 minutes. Um, we're going to add um, probably 20 in the next um, sprint. 
uh, so we can get some more done. Everyone's doing a little bit different. Oh, yay! You did an, a bullet journal too, Amy. That's awesome. With the book you finished last night. Very cool. So it sounds like you may do, do you do like a full page for the book you're reading? Yeah, well, getting done, getting done on the phone with your mom, that, that's important. Very nice. You're rereading it? Oh my gosh. Yeah, nice bath. I don't really take baths. I gotta say, I see everyone doing that and all the bath bombs and all the fun stuff and reading in the bath. I get so bored in the bath. Even if I were to be doing something, I feel like I'm, I have this constant air of like, what could I, could I be doing? And I feel very vulnerable <laughs> in the bath. Um, so I don't like taking baths. I feel really weird. And I just, I can't settle. Like most people can settle in a bath. I can't. I'm just like, what's happening out there? I can hear people. So yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not a bath. Yes, coffee. I have some tea and this happens every time I make tea. My first cup is so caffeinated because it's the first dredge of the tea and it's like, I put too much tea in there and like my second cup is much better because it's been watered down now because I refill the thing. Oh man, coffee's always good. Yeah, for those of you who like baths, there really is, Christy, I'm really excited for the discussion. I think it's going to be really great. Um, I won't have an, a physical book to look at while we're discussing, but um, I'll do my best. So, Amy, you add books. You just added books. Red page and so Okay. Yeah, that would be a lot. I mean, that would be a lot. Your book would, like, your journal would, like, you'd try to close it, and it would be, like, this full. <laughs> I've done scrapbooks like that, too, and I'm like, why am I walking to a page if you can't even get everything in here? So, oh, sure. Sure. Yeah, if you were hair tangles. That's one thing as my hair gets longer, and I've always had, like, really long hair, so, but it is. It's like you get back here, and you're like, ooh, how does this happen? Like, you're just sitting there. Stop it. Okay. So we'll probably go for five more minutes of just chatting away. Um, and then at the 45, we'll do a 20 minute sprint um, and see what everyone is up to. I'm going to continue working on this thing. I'm hoping in this next sprint, I'll be able to finish all of the um, pencil stencil pencil stenciling seems so weird because it looks like I have one, two, three, four more pages to stencil in pencil. <laughs> I don't know why this is cracking me up. Stencil pencil, pencil stencil. I'm stenciling with pencil first. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Um, and then I will go back through and probably draw some things first in pencil and then we'll go back with the colors. So yeah, it'll be good. It'll be good. So no, uh, you didn't miss it, Laura. I have no idea yet. I have a few ideas on my handy dandy phone, wherever that went. Um, and I took some pictures, or I like saved some images that I think I'm gonna do. I think I'm just going to be doing like, I think I'm gonna do like springtime, springtime with like flowers and some little woodland creatures that I think I can draw. I was going to do um, dogs, because if you can see my nails, I have like all these little paw um i don't know if you can see that but they're like all like paw prints and 
on doggy things on there. And um, I was going to do that. And then I was like, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. So, um, <laughs> pencil. there you go. I'm going to pencil the rest of this. That's just awesome. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm going to probably do some springtime with spring, spring creatures. I don't know. I think that's what I'm going to do. Your question, did you say you were working on April? Did you do your pages for the month at the end of the month? No. Um, okay. So yeah, so I am working on April, Amy, and I, so this is the first year that I've ever done a bullet journal and it, I did not realize how time consuming it is. Now it's not time consuming, say for instance, if you're just doing it on your own, like I could, you know, sit here and do this for, you know, an hour or so and get, be done with it. But when you're filming it and then editing it, and then putting a voiceover in and then editing that and rendering that and uploading that it takes all month it seems to to get your bullet journal up on your channel because that's what my intention was is to share it with everyone um so then knowing that it's going to take all that work i'm a huge procrastinator when it comes to that because i'm like oh my gosh it's going to take forever um and i've had a lot of stuff going on this month as far as like needing to get certain things read so i thought for this month i would do it live um and i always do a live on the third saturday of the month so yes it's very far into april but i'm still doing it it still helps me a lot because i still it helps me record everything um so yeah it's not a weird question I'm working on April on April 17th, but at least this time I won't have to like render and 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 upload and all of that fun stuff. So, yeah, it is. Um, Laura, I think you'd like it, and you you you'd be able to sit and whip through the first one in no time. It's um, I know an audio was only like five hours long, so yeah. Okay, so we are at the 45. Let's go ahead and um, do another sprint. This time we're going to do 20 minutes, see if we can get a little bit more done this time. So we will be back at the 05 hour. And um, hopefully, oops, um, you all will be able to get a little bit more done, and maybe my stenciling will all be done. So look.
Hey, bud. How are you doing? No. <laughs>
Okay, how did everyone do? Oh my goodness, no. <laughs> I'm just coming in and looking at some dead grant. I'm gonna hide this for a second. Just so I'm not looking at my big old arm. Um did I miss something here? Not. Okay. My known theme, yeah, that was so fun. I love my known. Actually, I'll show you guys, um, for those of you who may not know. Um, so my gnomes were last month. So I had made like woodland gnomes and like, so I made little girl gnomes and little boy gnomes. Wow. So like the boys had beards and then all the little girls have these little um, things there. So like, uh, oh, these dogs. Uh, wow. This one's my favorite. She's got like little overalls on. But you can't really see because of her um, hair. But I just loved how this like turned out like braided and just like her her big little nose. And I just thought they were so cute. Um, and they just kind of were throughout. Um, I put some book stacks on this one. And um, yeah, and then the little like just the hats with their noses were there. Excuse you. Kingston, don't encourage him, please. Dwight, no, please. Anyway, um, so yeah, I, I really like the gnomes as well. So yeah, I mean, definitely, I, I don't feel confident in any of my drawing or anything. So um, whenever you feel comfortable, definitely, I would love to see your bullet journal as well, Amy, I think. Um, Everyone has different talents and they all should be shared. Yeah, Laura, you'd cry like that book, I think. Aw. You're so nice. Everyone's so nice. Yeah. <laughs> You know, it's nice because lives are nice to just jump into real easy, you know, but um, I was thinking about planning some kind of game night, too, so that could be fun. Um, I know Kate Howe does a really nice job of getting together on, on the back end with, you know, us that are friends on, on BookTube, so, yeah. I... <laughs> I have about five pair of glasses, so yeah, I I do I do bring them in and out. So, uh oh, Amanda's here. She's probably wondering where uh, her calm video is. I don't have time to be calm, Amanda. I just am. I am who I am. <laughs> I'll get there someday. <laughs> It'll be just for you. When's your birthday? <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, I think a game night would be super fun. Um, maybe in July. Maybe my birthday month we'll do a uh, we'll do a game night. So what did you guys all get done in the 20 minute sprint? Anything anything good? I have one last page to stencil, so in this next productivity, I'll be able to start penciling, penciling, Sten stempling. What did we say that word was? I don't know. Anywho, um, some actual creatures. <laughs> Thanks, Amanda. You know, it's funny because I had all these like ideas of what to do for like a calm video. And I was like, all I kept thinking about was the massive blooper section I would have as I was trying to be calm, busting out laughing. So all I kept thinking was like the blooper reel. And I'm like, that's really not gonna be a good, like it'll be like a 20 second calm video and then bloopers of me trying to be calm. Because like I am calm 
most of the day. But when I'm talking about this stuff, I'm like so spastic. I just don't, I don't really know why I have these troubles, but I'm just so excited and I can't help it. So this is as calm as I'm gonna get, is drawing and being quiet. <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited too. That is happening in less than two hours. I'm excited. And you took your bath. Very nice. So well, that was a pretty short one. Nice. Cleaning is happening. Very cool. Very, very cool. There we go. Ooh, are we twinsies? Mine's on the 15th. Pamela. Yay! How long is your shift? Did you just start or are you almost done? War and Peace. What a good title, too. You have like that yin and yang, you know? Very cool. You are on to peace now. Okay. Very good. I don't know. I've never read that book. So is it like 400 pages war and then 400 pages peace? <laughs> uh, two more hours that's not too bad it's not too bad you can get home just in time to go and uh, check out Victoria's uh, live show so I think what we'll do is at the quarter hour we will go for another did everyone like the 20 minutes was 20 minutes good I feel like 20 minutes was I, it, it flew by for me like it was no different than the 15 so um but if everyone's good with 20 does 20 work for everyone or should we do more or less or i'm good with with 20. so you're you're at 9 a.m there yep i'm at 11 11 12. just missed my wish darn it there was, was it Amanda who was talking about a middle grade book that they make a wish at 11, 11, and then they go back in time? Or was that Krista? I don't know. I watched too many people's videos. <laughs> okay, 20. Okay, we're good on the 20. Okay, awesome. We'll do the 20. Hi, Debbie. How are you? What are you working on? I like 22. I mean, I like 20 also. <laughs> we'll get started on that in like two minutes. Two, 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 2020. Oh, we shouldn't say 2020. That's a bad word. I wonder if 2020 will change their name. That's just, that's just me. I think it was Krista. I want to say maybe she got it in an unboxing. No, I don't know. I know I saw it somewhere. Cool. That's good to know. Good to know. It wasn't you? Hmm. Yeah, I think it's, yeah, I think it's called 11. Yeah. Maybe it was Krista. I don't know. I get everything mixed up now. Everything gets mixed up. I want to say that maybe was she just, she, I don't, it wasn't just, it was a while ago because I watch everything randomly. But I think she unboxed a middle grade box that she got from someone and maybe it was in there or something. I don't know. I'm going to stop trying to think of it because it's just going to hurt my brain. So, yeah. Blue Marlin. I've not heard of that book. Huh. Laundry. I can hear the laundry going downstairs. My husband went up, must have went down there when he got up and turned on the dryer. I hear it. I hear it down there. And if anyone is wondering, because there's like no sound here other than the dogs, I'm really, I'm a weirdo. I don't listen to like music and stuff while I'm working on things. I, but when I read, I can't have silence like I have to have a TV show on or I have to have a um, ASMR on or yeah I have to have something going on but when I'm doing stuff like this 
No, no music. It's silent. So we are at the quarter hour. Let's go ahead and do another 20 minute sprint. Um, that will bring us to the 35. So change this up. And I will see you in 20 minutes. Good luck. Oh.
Okay, how did everyone do in that sprint? I very, <laughs> uh, got some stuff done. Um, so with these woodland <laughs> creatures, or these little, like, look at that bunny. I mean, he looks like he's gonna, like, like he has no soul because his eyes aren't filled in yet, but he's got like a little carrot in his hand, and then there's a little stump. I'm trying my best to like focus that, like a little stump next to him, and then I have like a little pond with some cattails in it, and then I have this really weird looking bird. I don't know. We'll see how he turns out, because these all change once I get the dark marker. Because if I, like, uh, it's almost like I have to draw them twice. So sometimes, sometimes they come out looking better once I get the marker in there. But, yeah. So then on my TBR page, I've got a little, oh, I'm trying my best, little hedgehog. He looks kind of weird. <laughs> and then down here, I was just like, you know what? We're just getting a tree. <laughs> Butterfly. And then my attempt at a squirrel. I don't know if you can see that. Again, with the no eyes, it looks kind of scary. <laughs> and then I just freehanded, or I mean, freehanded everything, but I don't know, is that a dragonfly? Is that what dragonflies look like? <laughs> and then a cloud, because it fills in space. And then on the corners, because I love this, you'll notice I really like overlapping. So I have a little acorn. And then down here, I have a little leaf. Um, so I'm like a big over overlapper. And what I mean by that is like, I like when like the letters overlap. So like in April here, how the R is going over the I and like the L is coming out from under the I. I really like overlapping. So like how the squirrel here is overlapping on the, on the square. So you'll see how that turns out afterward. But yeah, so bunch of little woodland things and then like for the buddy reads page it's pretty bare right now but um i have a mushroom with some grass because he was kind of tilted 
So I might put something on the bottom, but uh, yeah, that's that's what's happening so far. Um, I have a couple of other pages. I think for the sake of being able to show you guys what it looks like in color, I think I'll start doing the actual color now um, and I'll do the rest of the stenciling and other stuff because like I said, I wanna make sure that I can get to the live show that's at one or 11 a.m. Pacific time for Victoria. How is everyone? How did everyone do? Okay. Do, 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 do. Yay, you're almost finished with your pep. I'm so excited. Now, the bunny is like creeping me out. Like, he's super creepy. Like, I feel like he's just like, he's not alive yet. So, like, I really need to color him in because he's freaking me out a little bit. So, but thank you, everyone. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that very much. I'm doing I'm doing what I can, but they're all looking kind of weird to me with their no eyes. So once they're filled in, I think they'll look a little bit better, but yeah. And I didn't bring any of my crayons with me. I only have my markers. So I don't know if I wanna do all marker with this because it's always so dark. But I think I might just do that. Uh, I probably will go get my crayons in our next sprint um, because the crayons sometimes help a little bit. Yeah, you have a very extensive spreadsheet, but I bet it's fabulous. So um, I kudos to you for doing that. I probably should start doing something like that. Like I haven't even updated my Goodreads since January because I have been putting it in this bullet journal and I've been really enjoying that. And I'm like, oh, why do I need to put it in Goodreads? But I will, like, one day I'm going to, like, sit down and, like, put everything in Goodreads. So I really just admire how you, and I think Krista does that too, where they have a spreadsheet. Oh, my gosh, it's crazy. It's so awesome that you do that. But, yeah, I am... Um, I think in my in the next sprint, I'm gonna go right for the color. So I'll probably go grab my crayons um, so that I can do some crayon on here because I don't think I wanna color this all in marker. But yeah. What is everyone else gonna work on in the next sprint? I think we'll do, we'll go at the 45 and then that'll bring us to the 05 again. I wonder, did Laura get something else clean or are you relaxing now? Cleaning a bathroom always is exhausting to me because it's the bathroom. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, then you guys will be able to see me erase everything too because I erase all of the, all of the pencil because that's maybe there. It's too bad I'm not like good enough to just go with marker, like just marker it up. So I guess we shall see. And my tea is completely cold, so that's cool. I don't feel like nuking because there's not much left in here. Okay, so it sounds like everyone is being really productive. Um, oh. Still in there. Oh, wow. I scrubbed my bathroom bathtub like once a month. Terrible. I should probably do it more. I love that. And get my face on. That's what I always say too. Like, whenever um, we have to go anywhere and uh, my husband's ready, because of course, you know, shower, clothes, done. And I go, okay, well, I just have to put my face on and then we can go. <laughs> no, Laura, they look demonic. Maybe, maybe the camera is making them look cuter than they are, but to me, they're like, I'm trying not to look at him because he's creeping me out. Um, so the, the live discussion uh, with Victoria, that is at 11 a.m. Pacific time. 
So I'm central time. So for me, it's at 1 p.m. Um, wait, what did I just say? Yeah, 11 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Central. I don't know what it is, Eastern. I know, I'm not doing any chores. You can inspire people all you want. I'm not doing anything today. <laughs> Amanda, when my when I was growing up, my mom, anytime anything came up, she's like, that's why I have kids. <laughs> I mean, we have a, my husband, mom's daughter is 14, but I mean, kids don't clean as much as they used to. Let's just say that. Ooh, cool, switch it up, switch it up. Yeah, exactly. We clean like the sink and the toilet probably like once a week, but everything else is kind of like, mm. <laughs> Yeah, if I, if I was like that too, I'd be like, yeah, whatever. Oh, wow. That's crazy. You know, it's funny because I use the ruler. So I use the ruler to like do all this, but then you'll see when I do the black pen, I don't use the ruler. So it's like cockeyed sometimes. And I'm okay with that. I like that it looks like that, but this is just, you know, for me to follow. Um, I don't necessarily need a straight line once it's all said and done. So. Okay, so we're just about to the 45 mark so we're gonna do another 20 minute sprint and that'll bring us to the 05 um and i'm gonna run upstairs and grab my crayons my crayons and then um we will be able to do I would say this sprint and then maybe one more before we close out for today. Um, I think that sounds like a good idea. Um, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna run and get my crayons. Let's get that 20 minute sprint going right now.
unmute myself if I want to talk. How did everyone do? 
here at the final countdown. Do -do 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 -do. You clean your breath pad in the two, three minutes. Nice. <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. So I just managed to get the one page done. You can see I accidentally bent it a little bit, but that is my first page of my April. I don't know, for some reason, I always like to make my clouds like with blue on them. So, and you can't really see it with the camera, but this is more of a blue blue. This is more of a green blue, and then this is really dark blue, but on camera, it kind of looks like these two are the same color, but they're not. So I kind of like how that turned out. The bunny turned out way cuter. Like, look at, he's so happy. I fixed his de demonic look. He looks way better now in person. So, and then next to his little tree stump. So, and then the little pond. And I put some little grass things next to it. Uh, the butterfly, I the whatever it's it's a butterfly and then my little birdie i made him a red birdie i like red birds so i thought he turned out pretty cute too so that's that's my first page and then i'm actually pretty proud of that rabbit now now that he's colored in and i fixed his eyes he does look kind of cute so yeah so that's april and then I'll keep going in my other pages as we go. But I think we'll just have the one more. We'll have one more sprint today. And then um, we'll call it a day. And I'll probably keep working on this. Um, and maybe I'll do just, I'll, maybe I'll just film a flip through. Um, so that you can see how everything ended up uh, in the end. So, yeah. How did everyone else do? Oh, thanks, Laura. The orange, yeah, it's because the orange is a marker, and then the rest of the bunny is in crayon. So I use different uh, tools when I do my my coloring in. I try to be real fancy like and use the Dollar Tree crayons. So that don't actually have a label of what color they are, so you just get to pick what color they are. <laughs> oh yeah, lots of people felt differently, I've heard. Everyone kind of has been um, feeling a little bit. I've heard the arm sore. I think that happens a lot with um, any shot. Oh yeah. Anyone get any good reading done or maybe something else? Oh, thanks. Yeah. Sometimes I think about coloring in the white space kind of like I did for this one, like the whole page is colored in, but I don't necessarily need that. So, I mean, I think that's enough. So, I mean, I'm really the only one that sees it, so. <laughs> Looks like Laura got the bathroom done and buttering around. Oh gosh, all you ordering books. Oh, just a little tired. Yeah, I think there was someone that I knew that got real sick, like not sick, like not terribly sick, but like congested and all that. And who knows if that was already an onset cold or whatever, but you know, everyone's been um, getting to it differently. I've heard a lot of like, um, being really tired, like super tired and exhausted. I'm trying to get you organized. Um, no, no, I'm trying to get myself organized. <laughs> We're coming to the end here. We're actually going to do one more sprint because we want to make sure there's plenty of time for us all to jump over to Victoria's channel um, for her live discussion of Out of the Silent Planet. So um, I'm, we're all excited to get over there. Um, but no, I'm just doing some productivity sprints. Um, everyone's doing a little bit something different. I'm actually working on um, my bullet journal for April because clearly I'm very late. 
on getting that done. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just, you know, puttering around, but, um, oops, sorry. Um, worked on description details, blog going up today, almost ready. Yay, finished your live show prep, so nice. Yes, Amy, I heard a lot of people with those similar kind of symptoms. Yep, zero energy, slept for almost a day. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, no, I'm not very creative at all. Um, in fact, uh, before I was able to get the bunny done, he did not look this nice. He looked really demonic and very scary. At least to me, everyone else said he was adorable. And I was like, mm -mm, he's, he's hiding something. <laughs> so until I was able to color him in, he's, he looked kind of weird to me. Same with the bird, but the bird looks pretty cute now. Now he kind of looks like a little, little guy. Like, hey, what's up? And these crayons are kind of weird. They're like really waxy. So you really have to color a lot for it to like color in as much as this is. It's almost like you're just laying down the wax. Um, so this is pretty, pretty thick um, with crayon here. So Dollar Tree crayons are interesting. Um, so yeah. Oh, okay, so you clean a little bit every day except Sundays. Level one is cleaning the bathrooms. I clean two bathrooms all during the days. That sounds very organized. I wish I had that spunk. Yeah. See, that's the way to go because, yeah, I always get really overwhelmed if it comes down to it and you're like, ugh. So getting into a habit of doing it every day is probably awesome. I know. I need to get... But see... Amanda, I won't spend more than $2 on books. What makes you think I'm going to spend $8 on a box of Crayola? Okay. These are from the dollar store and they're left over from my wedding because I put coloring books and crayons on all of the tables where there were kids. And then obviously this is all the leftovers. So I'm using these crayons until they're gone because I am... Some people would, people would call me cheap. Others would call me frugal. I prefer thrifty. And uh, start. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. You get the 25 cent ones from Walmart during school days. Yeah, I suppose. But are there only like eight crayons in there? Is that the eight pack? <laughs> See, when I was a kid, I always wanted a big box of Crayola with the sharpener in the back. Man, I always ended up with the rose art. And as soon as you put the crayon in the in the sharpener, it would just, the sharpener would like plunge into the rest of the box because it would like detach itself and then you didn't have the sharpener anymore. So that's, that's how I felt about that. Wow, I'm missing out on some 25 cent crayons. Jeez Louise. And you time yourself. Oh, wow. 24 pack. What is that from Napoleon Dynamite? Oh, get it. <laughs> when they're at the store and Napoleon's trying to get markers or something, he's like, 24 pack? We can't afford 24 pack. Get the 8 pack or whatever he says. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. I'm a weirdo, sorry. Oh, magenta was your favorite crayon. My crayon was always cerulean blue. I think it was because I never knew what that word meant and I thought it was such a cool word. Word, And I also really like blue. So it was like almost like this color blue. I'd say like this is the blue. Maybe like a mix between these two blues. It was like that. Loved it. It's like cerulean is like this color, this tealish color in the middle. But okay. Let's, um, no rose art in this house. <laughs> yeah. yeah, these are Dollar Tree. They're, they're like, yeah, they're, they're crappy, but they're what I have. So that's what I'm going to use because I'm thrifty or cheap. I never heard anyone either. 
big stuff they all advanced to the queens. They color very strangely to me. Like I know when I have a Crayola because I can I feel like I can I can feel and hear myself coloring. Any other kind of crayon, you don't really have that same experience. Crayola is an experience. I do really love, so my favorite markers are the, um, technically my favorite markers are those Mr. Scented markers where they all smell like something different. Like, but the black one, you don't ever want to use because it's black licorice and it's disgusting, but you have to use the black marker because it's a black marker. <sighs> I hate that marker. Anywho, but the rest of them are so good. Like there's the red is strawberry, the yellow is lemon. I mean, you just want to smell those markers. And here's the thing. Here's the thing, folks. How silly is it for a manufacturer to create scented markers? And then when you have them in a classroom, you are consistently telling children to stop sniffing the markers, which at the time they're probably like, you're killing brain cells or whatever else you may be doing. But they're scented. What else are you supposed to do with them, right? I mean, am I wrong? They smell great. I'm just letting you know. Mr. Scented Markers, they smell like you could eat them. They're so good. I do not have any Mr. Scented because I don't even know if you can buy those like at a regular store. I think you have to order them online. I have no idea. But I digress. My favorite markers that you can get at the store are the bold markers from Crayola. So it's an eight pack and it's like the bold. So like magenta's in there. And like there's the the teal color and there's other colors that are bold. Yellow is more like goldenrod. It's awesome. I love those markers. I have obviously all these markers. Now these are all like the dual tip. So these are kind of cool, but they're brushes. So like, it's like a brush as opposed to actually a marker tip. So it's kind of weird when you're coloring, but whatever. Again, I got these for like 12 bucks. There's like how many markers here? I don't know. I can't count. So it is what it is. So yeah. Oh, uh, I'm a pretty organized person, but when it comes to cleaning, I'm not really on a schedule. Well, I do what I can, with, I can for you, Debbie. <laughs> uh, okay, so you can get them at a store. So Mr. Sentence at Office Depot. I am actually going to Office Depot soon. I have to pick up a stamp um, thing for my mom. So uh, I might have to get some Mr. Scented. I bet they're like $30. Now, Danny, be, don't be silly. But anywho. Those are the best markers. They smell so good. And they're actually really good markers, but they're fat markers. They're like really fat. So it's kind of more like teachery stuff. <laughs> as long as they don't stop. <laughs> Anywho. Oh my gosh. Bye, Amanda. Thank you. Absolutely. Anytime. Keep, keep on, keep on, keep on keeping on, as they say. Um, there's a fabulous box of Oh, yeah, there are some amazing art supplies out there. For sure. You can get some Crayola. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> oh, my gosh. And I don't go to Target very often, so. Oh, productive. So then I'm going to bookstore. Oh, going to the bookstore. That's awesome. I'm not going to bookstore this weekend because I don't. I don't go to bookstores. I go to thrift stores. <laughs> okay. Um, let's go ahead and just start our 20 minutes now. Um, so we'll come back at the 40, and that way we can. Oh my gosh, Mrs. Dalloway. Yes. Anywho, okay. Let's start now. And we'll do 20 minutes, and that way when we come back, we can finish up our discussion if we have anything to say, and then jump over to Victoria's channel um, so you have a little bit break between me and her. Um, but, okay, let me switch us up here. Since it's the 21, we will come back in 20 minutes. 
and um, hope that you enjoy this last sprint and do something awesome. I'll do at the 42 since by the time I get this up, it'll be that time. I know, weird, okay. Good luck.
Okay. I think we are back. And we're kind of ready to end our day here together. I hope you all got pretty far. I um, just got the one page, so I got all of the lines colored in with the black. Um, and this is my TBR page, so you can see that, like, I put TBR, and then there's my little hedgehog. He actually turned out quite nice. I kind of like him. I like the coloring I picked for him. He looks super cute. See, this is how I always am. I get where I am super displeased with things until they're completely done. And then I'm like, oh, well, that wasn't too bad. Um, so then you'll see I will list all of my books that I'm reading. And um, right now, so you'll see like Pew is up here. Um, I left two blanks because I'm going to try to get two more of the BookTube prize books. So this is a BookTube prize book um, on my TBR as well. And then I have all of my buddy reads. And then this is a blank because I have an additional buddy read that I can't remember the title of the book for. So um, I'm going to get that in there. And then my book club book. And then I'm listening to this on audio. I read this this past weekend. Um, and then I have several other books that I know I need to put in here. I leave room for my stats down here. So I'll like stat out like how many books were audio, how many were, you know, physical, borrowed, all that fun stuff, fiction, nonfiction um, there. And then in these columns here, you can see um, I have a couple of different things on the top here. So I always list out if it was um, owned or borrowed and then the format of which it was. So if it was an ebook, an audiobook, a graphic novel, or a physical book, I'll put that there. And then this is what I started this year. So I started doing um, a different way of rating a book instead of just giving it a flat, like this is a five-star book or this is a four-star book. I felt like I was, if my engagement was really high, I was still giving it a five-star, even if the writing style was kind of weak because my engagement was so high. So I decided to start um, rating books a little bit differently. So I'm rating them on content, creativity, and engagement, and then that will give them a total score of what they should. So even if my engagement was like a five, it could be like, but the writing style was weak. So it actually knocks it down a, a half a star or whatever that may be. And then just on the bottom, so you can kind of see the, it's just a tree. <laughs> so that was that page that I finished. Um, definitely the, the hedgehog is the highlight. Um, it turned out pretty nice. Um, so that is that. Some of these I can actually fill in. Like I fill in all the owned and borrowed in the format. And then as I read them, I'll fill in the rest. But um, yeah, what did you guys What did you guys finish up in that last sprint? Um, who's all joining us over at Victoria's channel? Um, anyone going to be jumping on over there and joining us for a fun a fun discussion of out of the silent planet. I will probably continue doing this while um, I watch Victoria's stuff so I can get that done. Um, because otherwise it'll never get done. And like I said, maybe I'll do like um, a flip through so you guys can see the end result um, as opposed to a, a final like thing. But here you guys got to kind of see like how I all do that. So I do it in pencil first and then I do it in the marker and erase and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Yeah, he's cute. I like him a lot. Yes, fried green tomatoes is on my list. Um, I It's my book club pick this month. Um, so I'm very far behind. So I'm only just started, but I um, grew up loving the movie um, and didn't know it was a book until probably a couple of years ago. Um, and I've been really meaning to read it. It was on my TBR last July during my birthday month. And what turned out to be like, oh, I'm going to read all the books I really want to read. It just turned into me doing a lot of um, uploads and not actually reading too much in the month. So now it's on my book club list. So we are reading that um, as my book club is doing all books that have been adapted into film. So, 
Yeah, I, I hear it's really great. And if it's anything like the movie, I will love the book. And and so far, I am really loving it. I'm having a hard time breaking my memory. So as I'm reading, I'm just envisioning the movie, like what scene I'm in. And so that's been really difficult. Um, but other than that, it's it's really good. I love the spacing as far as each chapter, I think the the longest chapter I've seen thus far is like six pages. So it reads really fast. And it's, it's, I love how it's like storytelling because you know that it's not, it's not happening right now. It's being told as a story. So I really like that too. So um, yeah, I'm excited to finish that one. I'll probably get into that one a little bit more tomorrow. Ooh. A novel in verse about the Titanic. Wow, I did not know that that even existed. But that is very, very good. And Amy, I think you're another Wisconsinite, right? And Laura and I are both um, from Wisconsin as well. I, I, I want to say I think you're also from Wisconsin, but I'm not sure. Um, I could be completely wrong, and I apologize. But I've been finding a lot of booktubers that are from Wisconsin. Um, so I don't know. There must be a lot of reading happening here. <laughs> So, yeah. Well, I do want us to all have a, a little bit of a break. So we have about 10 minutes before um, Victoria's uh, live starts. So I want to go ahead and, and, and pause here so everyone can take a breather and, and jump on over there. Um, so I, oh, good. Yep. I knew, I had a feeling you were. So, um, so anywho, I do want to, um, oh, I, I actually work in Green Bay, Amy. That's so funny. <laughs> Um, so I am going to let you guys go here. I thank you so much for joining me. I really hope that you all, um, you know, get to do something great today. And I hope that this was good for you to get productive, get something done, maybe, um, inspire you to do some more this afternoon. Um, but yeah, so if you're not already jumping over there, go on over to Victoria at a musical bookworms channel and check out her live discussion of, uh, the, uh, C.S. Lewis trilogy. It's the first one that they're discussing today, which is out of the silent planet. Um, until next time, I hope you all are reading something great. Of course, taking care and staying safe. And as always, you all know how it goes. Happy reading. Bye.